So the painting is set in 1912. Hi, my name is Hannah, and I just painted this massive painting that you see behind me. I'm going to take you along on the journey of creating this piece, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you how I got asked to create this piece, share my favorite research that inspired the painting, and read you the story of the girl who snuck away to get her first glimpse of a train. So this is the biggest canvas that I've ever done. And I was so excited to do this, but when I first thought, okay, I wanna do this size canvas, I had no idea what I wanted to put on the canvas. So while I was struggling to come up with an idea, I ended up getting put in contact with this Airbnb decorator. And he came up with this idea that I would make a painting for each Airbnb that he decorates specifically to enhance that location. He wants it to be like an experience of the place that you're going to visit. So this was the first painting that we decided we were going to do together. And it is in Marathon, Florida, which is, if you don't know where Marathon, Florida is, it's one of those islands that's below the base of Florida. It's kind of off, kind of by the Bahamas, but way closer to Florida. One of the coolest things that I learned, one of the first things that I learned actually was that they had a train that was once called the eighth wonder of the world back in the day. And it wasn't just a normal train track. It was a train track that went over the water from island to island to island to island. And so they built it on these bridges that were seven miles long. So I started coming up with my design. And so the first thing I thought about was this girl swinging off the edge of a boat. And I thought that was super dramatic. You know, they have fishing here. It was perfect. So I started there. And then as I started learning about the train and the history of the train, I was like, we have to include this. So I was gonna put it like behind the ropes right there on the island. And I ended up putting it right where the sunset was, right where I feel like her focus is. And I feel like, it just, it just takes it to a new world. So right now I'm basically trying to get all of the highlights and shadows in the right places. And I have this person that I have to add into it. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching her out onto here. I'm gonna make some tea and then we'll get back to painting. <laughs> So the painting is set in 1912, the very first year of the railroad being run on the Keys. A young girl, daughter of one of the most well-known fishermen on the island, snuck onto her father's boat against her mother's warnings. A day spent inside was something she could not dare be a part of when word that the first train was departing towards the East Keys. She had to see it. Okay, so I've ran into quite a few problems on this layer. The proportions that are in my picture that I'm using as my reference photo are very off. It's a little disproportionate up here. Her arm looks kind of funky, this arm. Um, so we're gonna fix that in the oil layer. And then also the sky is really messy. Um, and I did that on purpose so I could add some layers, but I really don't know if I love it. We're gonna fix all of it and make it all fit together and it's gonna be really fun. 
Now with his motley crew on board, the captain set word for departure. He was heading to the east bank where the fishing was the finest. It was tuna season and his crew had their harpoons ready for the big catch of the day. Just after the boat got out far enough that the young girl knew her father wouldn't turn back, she popped out from behind the barrel on the bow of the ship to his surprise. Now, she knew he wouldn't be mad at her, just surprised. The crewmates saw her first, all groaning at her appearance, but when the captain saw her, he just started laughing. The crew was baffled, for the captain was usually a harsh sailor, but this captain knew a secret. When his daughter was aboard his ship, the catch of the day would be just as eager as she was. She was all sorts of good luck. Okay, so we are getting to the detail parts. Um, I have done the waves. The waves look really pretty. Her dress is almost done. Like right now, from far away, looks really cool. But if you get up close, like the detail in the dress is just not quite there yet. Next on the agenda for tomorrow is the details on the boat and then the clouds, and then we'll work on the sail and the ropes and her hand and arm the next day. It was moments later, after the young girl had made her way to the front of the fishing vessel, where smoke started appearing from the keys. At first, a crewmate shouted, fire, and the whole crew snapped into attention. What could be burning? A house? <gasps> the town gathering places. No, wait. The smoke, it's moving, the girl yelled. She climbed on the ropes, or shrouds as the crew called them, to get a better look. And then, as if revealing itself from behind the trees, the train appeared. It was small and hard to see, but it was there. In this moment, the wind came and swept the captain's daughter's hair. Her dress blew out over the water and her hair coiled in knots. Her mother was going to have a fit about that, but she couldn't care less. She was staring at a train. The train. Her smile was as big as the joy radiating off her. This was a moment she would never forget. So that's kind of the story of this painting. Um, it's kind of what I was imagining, what was happening, what the details kind of come from. Um, so you'll see hidden elements of that story all throughout my painting, which is really, really fun. I wanted this painting to feel like it was more than just my personality. I really wanted it to reflect Marathon, Florida. So I, I, I added a lot of like hidden elements in there. So if you look closely at the, the painting, you'll see elements of like which key that the boat is from and you'll see um how where the the, the the boat is owned by the railroad and you'll you'll see like different elements like that throughout you'll see that it's a fishing vessel and it has little like spears they're going out to get tuna that was one of the things that i wanted to like kind of make specific so if you know that kind of stuff you'll know it but if you don't it's just like a cool element that's in the painting so once I finished the painting, I ended up taking some photos of the artwork and sending those off to Mike, the decorator. And he ended up printing out this awesome print of it that is actually going up in the Airbnb and probably is up in the Airbnb right now. Um, this is the version I received. You can purchase this kind of print on my website or you can purchase the original on my website. I also may do paper prints of this painting. I'm not entirely sure. Check my website to see if those are available. So once I finished this painting, I was just, honestly, I was relieved. It was a long journey, a long process to get this painting done. And I was under a deadline, which most of the time for my paintings, I'm not under a deadline. So this was, this was definitely a new experience for me, time management wise. And it was the biggest painting I've ever done. So it wasn't very thought out time management wise, in my opinion. Um, and I have a lot to grow on and learn from, but I really enjoyed how it ended up and I love the colors that I use. I love the feeling that it gives me. Right now it's up in the guest room and when I walk past it, I go, whoa, that's cool. And like, I struggle with a lot of things in my own paintings because I am so perfectionistic and I'm so detailed and I want it to be perfect. And so I see a lot of flaws in it, but then when you walk, just walk past it. It just gets the feeling that I always wanted it to have, which is, whoa, that's so cool. And so I hope that it brings you the same amount of joy and adventure and 
just daringness that I want it to bring into the world. If you're interested in the original piece, that is also available on my website and I'm very proud of it. Um, the size is up there, the materials are up there, and that is the best quality of this piece that you're going to get. And so I'm really proud of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, I have a few more painting videos on my YouTube. Um, this will be the first one of the Airbnb series, but I am going to do another one. I'm working on a painting right now that's going to come up soon, um, and it's going to be for a Airbnb in Georgia. So keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.